Hello everyone, Corn here and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would work on a tag that we could put inside. Um, one of the little things we can make to put inside of the cards that I showed on my last craft with me and um, you know place them in here trying to keep the mail flat and um, because I'm sending out quite a few and um, since they're only going to be this tall you know to fit into this card um, I thought I would put my greeting here and but I worked on these yesterday and I thought you know what maybe we could work on some together or one together today and so let me show you what I came up with first. And um, there's so, um, you know, I love Easter and I love the animals, the ducks and chicks and rabbits and sheep that have become popular with this time of year. And these darling stickers that are the star of the show they were gifted to me by Midge who is Midge's Mountain Crafts here on YouTube and I highly recommend her channel and she gave me those last year and I just thought oh my goodness they are just so sweet even a little duck with a ribbon around its neck and violets and the egg and stuff so that goes in one of the cards this one goes in the little peach one this one goes in the lavender one this one goes in the uh, pink one that we did together and then that one goes in the yellow one <laughs> so um what I'm working with first is to let you know that this will we'll be working on the green one. That's why I've got all my green on. And this is for my husband. He gets the green one. I wasn't going to mention it, but because remember he reads all my comments, but I don't think, especially now, he doesn't have time to watch the video. So I thought I could get away with this. So we're going to be using this Tombow marker, which is 243. We're going to be using this whole reinforcer that I got at Hobby Lobby for half off um, last year from Hobby Lobby. Also, the Paper Studio um, puts out this wonderful, wonderful tag punch. And you can, uh, for one inch, for two inch, or two and a half, I mean, yeah, it's one and a half, sorry, one and a half, two, and two and a half. Um, inches wide for your tags and I highly recommend if you're interested in getting this to wait till they put everything that's the paper studio for 50% off because this punch is normally unless they've changed the price $19.99 and you can get it for um, $9.99 and I have definitely use my 9.99 out of this because it is fantastic too if you're doing journals and stuff it is so cool to include all three of those sizes and journals and everything. Love the punch. I also got, we'll be using the color box. Um, this ink they're saying is their spring ink. And so let me show y'all what I did. <laughs> um, this is close, a little bit darker, but close to the color they're representing there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the lavender, oh yeah, that's gorgeous. The um, spring green is even a little lighter, so happy with that. But check out the pink, y'all. We doggies, the pink is bright pink. So I didn't use that. I went ahead and used, um, I have Colorworks, which is a pink ink that I use all the time until that runs out on me. But we'll be using this green because this is a blue green. As you know, green is um, blue and yellow together makes green. And this one they added tons of yellow, tons of blue. So handsome loves all greens. So I thought, okay. 
And this is the card that we're working with. And there's the little inside pocket. And so first, I went ahead because you know how I am. I'm such a slow crafter. <laughs> and I just realized that I left my correct glasses downstairs, which is not too cool, but, you know, <laughs> things have been interesting, you know, when you're, when you're in the house and you have to stay in the house. It's a whole lot different than when you can go out even just for an hour, you know what I mean, when you have to stay put, so... Um, I'm a little discombobulated. So first off, I did, to fit inside of the cards, this is uh, two inches by three and a half. And so this fits, now I'm sorry my camera is attached to my art table and so we will, if you don't like um, seeing a motion happening with the, with the filming, that's going to happen. But see how cute that is. It is just adorable. And then clean up is on aisle six. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to put that behind me. Get it off the table. And I also use, you can use, of course, any corner rounder you have. But I have the quarter inch on the crop -a dial and I just go ahead and round the corners because I think that makes it cuter and sometimes my crop -a dials they're not that old either but sometimes they uh, they have a tendency not to be as sharp as a cut as I like yeah like right here there's a little And remember, I'm super persnickety. Okay. And then I go around it with uh, the Tombow marker. Um, we not only say, oh, hubby's here. <laughs> he doesn't know I'm filming. He just came in. Bless his heart. And, um, so, what, what I do, like I said, is get rid of the little white. And this is double-sided, that paper that I showed you. In case you didn't see my other video, the paper I'm using is from the Paper Studio. And it is called Ice Cream Parlor. And I got that on clearance a couple of years ago. Okay, but this is the side we're going to work on. So we've got that done, and we've got that nice and punched. Now we need our hole reinforcers, and I'm using this paper again from the Paper Studio. It's their glittered assorted sheets, and really the only green they have is a nice bright yellow green, which will work just fine. And so what we're going to do is, since you can't turn this around, see, and see where it, where it is, I go ahead. Plus, it's kind of a hard punch, if you know what I mean. I think my table's going to move again, too. And then what I usually do is... usually just have to really push down hard on that one but it is nice not having to buy them and being able to match them you know any way that you would like and um, I go ahead and let's go ahead and put these on right now this is art glitter glue that I'm using And I'm sorry this is so close, but bad eyesight, y'all. And especially not having the correct glasses on. <laughs> that doesn't help any. <laughs> so we'll 
look at this. I do, um, I don't always, but 99% of the time I do both sides. Um, just in case they are used for like an Easter gift and the ribbon gets tied on real tight to have that nice and reinforced. I think it's kind of nice. And um, so, and plus, I like, remember, I love glitter. So I, I love adding a little bit of shine to most anything. And then I did not bring these in, but I got a set of the oval um, die cuts from Amazon over a year ago. And they're very, you know, this is the largest one in the set, y'all. And then here's, um, here's the next one is this one. So it's very, they're very, and then it even goes teeny, teeny tiny. So I thought in order to put that there and let it shine a little bit, shine, stand out a little bit. Um, do you all do this? Do you all take your these uh, makeup sponges from Dollar Tree and they have a natural tear right there and then cut all the sharp edges off and make your own little sponge for your uh, ink? I do that especially if I'm doing colors that I don't do a lot of. Um, normally I would use one of these but I use this pink all the time. <laughs> so but for something that I'm not going to use a whole lot of, I uh, I go ahead and cut those sponges up. But this is this is an olive green, as you see. But when it comes to handsome, he'll be like, "Yeah, do it." I'm going to go kind of light. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go kind of light on this because. Except, well, yeah, I was going to say, I want to try to make like a halo of color. Um, because the sticker that goes in here has some ducks in the grass. So, yeah, at the bottom especially, I'm going to try to go a little higher with the ink and a little less as we go up. You know, to look like more grass-like. Oh yeah. There we go. See, and even though this green has more blue in it, um, this does look like spring grass, doesn't it? That's why I chose that one, that particular green. And then the, um, the one we're gonna use, see the little ducks? <laughs> I wonder if I should even go higher up with that. Hmm. You know? Because they're going to sit. Let's see. I love it when there's no background, when it's clear here that you can actually see. I wonder if I should. Or does that look good? Just maybe that looks good just like it is, I reckon. So what I do... As you, I think most of you know, if you've visited my channel before, I put extra glue on my stickers because I have no desire for them to go anywhere, you know, else to come off. I want them to stay where they're supposed to stay, even though these are very nice stickers. They are so nice. Oops. Here, you. Yes, you can stick to my finger really well. Okay, so let's let's get this baby right about there. All 
Aren't they the sweetest stickers? And look at the little white daisies. Oh, just so, so, so sweet. Just adorable. And I was thinking about adding lace and everything to these, but the stickers, to me, the stickers are the stars. You know, when you have something that precious, that sweet, you know, it's like, well, you don't need to do anything else, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and put this on with some fabric tag. It lets me move it around in case I got it wrong. I see right about there. Pop it down. And there we go. It's, uh, it doesn't have layers and layers or anything since we're trying to keep it flat for, um, you know, for mailing and shipping purposes, but, um, I do think they, they kind of, like I said, I think they kind of speak for themselves. They're just so, those stickers are so pretty. Thank you, Midge. And I'd like to thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody.